And that's us in the water now, so it's getting ready to go. Hey guys, welcome to Wild Camp and I. Right today again in the water spot with a few friends paddling up the Blackwater Canoe Trail in Northern Ireland. The weather's quite mild and dry, which is the most important thing, but it's very humid to us. So, I'm on the GoPro today, so I have to do apologise for the sound quality and the potentially the footage. It's not too bad, but it's as good as the other footage. We're just getting loaded up here to our now, and uh, we'll check back in again with you a bit. So. The river splits boys and the other ones decided to go to the past more travelled. Me and Sam take the past less travelled. So let's see what happens. We'll probably end up getting stuck. That's usually happens. We have some friends with us today, boys. You've, you've got an audience, Sam. <laughs> Do you not see them? No, I didn't see them in the background, man. So, guys, we're out canoeing throughout this weekend. We're out to see with friends again. Everyone's got a slightly different, a few lavies out. PJ's got his tarp set up in a, a fake lavoo. It's it's not, a lavoo. not a real lavoo. Lavoo lies matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm using the normal lavoo this time, so I'm no modified lavoo. Try go lighter. I know, it's funny. A few, a few tents and stuff. So, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, so, this is going to be a little bit different to what we normally do, but um, a company got in touch with us and asked us if we wouldn't mind reviewing some of their kits. So for us, I was like, that's a pretty big deal. Pretty good. It's pretty good that our, our content's been noticed that way. So I'm just going to do a quick unboxing of what we've been sent and tell you about the company a bit. But um, it's the company called Wild, Camp Wild Camping International. And it's a close name, but there's nothing to do with us that way. But um, go and check them out on Instagram, Facebook, and have a look at some of their stuff. Um, if he's fancy. So, we got a full range of patches, different rubberized Velcro backed patches. Um, so, there's a whole pile in there because they're pretty cool. And if you know Mark and you know myself, we like our patches. But the main thing that we've got is a titanium bush stove. So, I'm just going to unbox it, put it up, and then just go record myself using it a wee bit. We're here for a few days canoeing, so um, I'll use it throughout these couple of days and then come back do a proper review in three months time or something whenever I've got to use it and, and abuse it and put it to the put it to a proper test and see how it holds up the test of time but firstly standard nice wee bag that it comes in as always and um, your instructions just let you know guys this is the first time I've, I've used this so hopefully I don't make a fool myself but anyway uh, yeah so handy instructions so um slightly different to some of the other ones i've used this is four separate parts that all click in together so
There we go. Alright, so firstly, pretty handy setup as you see yourself. And um, then the wee cross sections. Just oh, there we go. Alright, and whenever you lock them there cross section guys, it seems robust, sturdy, not a lot of moving in it. I'm going to be using it with cast iron as well, so if anything's going to put, put its strength to the test, it's going to be cast iron skillet. So guys, yeah, first impressions, have enough titanium, obviously light enough weight, simple to, simple to put up, which is good, that's it straight out of the bag set up not too long but um yeah i'll use it the rest of this weekend and we'll see, see what we think of it by then Just this evening, so as guys were sitting up at camp, we got a wee fire that we have, as you seen there. Uh, we're at a canoe campsite, so we're got the fire off the, the ground and a wee barbecue. Uh, not a lot of wood here, as you can see, a bit, a bit wet wood, wood found. It's a nice evening.
Old power from the old railway line. Okay guys, today's been a washout, uh, we went up this morning as you seen and cooked some breakfast and then packed up, the rain was a bit light, we packed up and got back in the water but pretty much all day since about half ten this morning right through now to about it's five o'clock now so it is, it's just rain solid so we got here slightly wet, everyone's got their tents set up all distinctly pointing in one direction away from the wind as you can see, uh, tents set up everyone's got clean clothes, dried off, new shoes on etc 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 we're over on Coney Island today for the final the final night of our, our trip and PJ's over here uh, somewhere here over here like a fire get ready for this evening so yes so just thought update is we didn't do much recording today obviously it was very wet and uh, we don't have waterproof equipment obviously I think the plan for tonight is to cook up some food and hopefully it'll dry up a bit so we'll chill out the fire and then back over pattern home tomorrow. Fit it all in big man. PJ juice starting to thicken up so it is it's a big pot. Look at that stew boys. Look at that stew. So that's us. The rain's still white so it is. 
we just packed up for the night so we are we're just going to sit around the fire and hopefully ride out the water see what happens see you in the morning Alright guys, morning time. It's day three of our trip. We're over at Coney Island. Um, don't really have a mask up. We're going to wake up. Well, we're up. We've got a fire going. Um, we're just going to do a big communal breakfast as we always do. Breakfast on the last day is is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is our thing. So we're going to do bacon and egg, move pancakes. we do loads of eggs this time. I think we're going to sit down some of the hash. Not too sure if we'll go flat or not. Like, but just going to do a big breakfast, chill around for a bit and take, take, take all the shelters down and then head back over for the early afternoon, maybe 2-3 o'clock kind of thing. So. Yeah, we can spin it around 180 pounds stuff, yeah. Is it, is it, is it melt with you? Yeah. Yeah, you can turn it around if you can. Here. Just turn the hand around the other way around there, basically. Put it back in below. Oh, yeah, like that. Mm. That's definitely melting, so that's wonderful. Eggy hash and bacon. Yeah. 